Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the new EcoFlow Delta Pro. This is a fascinating device that spans the divide between a portable battery backup system while still being capable of powering your home. If you're looking for the most powerful of options when it comes to portable solar generators, while not wanting to spend a large amount of money on a dedicated whole home battery backup power system, this unit might be the right fit for you. It's modular and part of an ecosystem that EcoFlow has developed to give you a myriad of options when it comes to building out a backup power source for you when the grid goes down. It packs a whopping 7,200 watts of AC output when connected to another EcoFlow Delta Pro, 3,600 watts of AC output by itself. It can handle simultaneously being charged up to 6,000 watts, handles up to 1,600 watts of charge from solar panels, has a staggering 25 kilowatt hour capacity when connected with their battery backup options, can be connected directly to your home with their smart home panel, and believe it or not, provides power for 240 volt devices, which is the first I've seen for portable solar generators. This is but a sampling of some of the very unique features of this device. There's quite a lot to cover when discussing this product. I'll post a link in the description and comment section below where you can go through all the details. Here's what we'll cover in this video. Features of this unit, what makes it unique compared to the other comparable models on the market, thorough testing, can it handle a heavy continuous load? Practical use cases, advantages of solar generators over gas generators, and final thoughts. If at any time in this video you want to skip around, I'll put timestamps in the description section and I'll add chapters to the progress bar below. So let's jump in. Features of this unit. Let's take a look at the technical specs first. This unit can output 3600 continuous watts with a pure sine wave, up to 4500 watts with the X-Boost enabled, and up to 7200 watts if connected with another EcoFlow Delta Pro, and it can handle up to 7200 watts of surge. That's not too shabby. Among the other unique features, the one that is truly groundbreaking for a portable solar generator is that when combined with another EcoFlow Delta Pro, together with their double voltage hub, it can output 240 volts, 7200 watts of power, which can power a well pump. Yep, you heard that right. If you're looking for an off-grid power source for a high demand electrical devices, you'll be interested in this feature. The weight for this unit is 100 pounds, but it is portable with wheels and a handle that's built in. Obviously, you won't be carrying this in a backpack, but in an emergency situation requiring you to bug out, this can be loaded into your vehicle. The battery is a 3600 watts lithium iron phosphate battery that can charge up to 3500 cycles at 80% or 6500 cycles to 50%. Here are the features. On the front, we've got an AC power button, four 120 VAC outlets, two 100 watt USB-C ports, two 18 watt quick charge ports, two standard USB ports, 30 amp outlet, and an LCD display. On the side, we have an infinity port on the side that allows you to charge from an EV car charging station with an adapter they offer. We have 30 amps, 12.6 volts regulated Anderson output, 12 volt, 10 amp cigarette lighter port, two 38 watts, 5.5 barrel plugs output. It also includes a mobile app that allows you to monitor the device and control it via your phone, connected either by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi if it's available. With this app, you can monitor charging, discharging, and control various functionalities directly from your phone. It has an MPPT charge controller with up to 150 volts of solar charge input. The charge time plugged into a standard wall socket is 2.7 hours using their Xtreme technology and between four to eight hours when connected to 1600 watts of solar panels. For the voltage range, it can handle between 11 to 150 volts, which means it is compatible with 90% of the third-party solar panels with MC4 connectors on the market. You can also add two more 3600 watt hour batteries for a combined 10.8 kilowatts of power. As shown here, I have an additional 3600 watt battery, which gives me a combined 6.6 .6 kilowatt of power. They sent me three 400 watt foldable solar panels with a 22.4% energy conversion efficiency. In total, you can connect up to 1600 watts of solar panels to each Delta Pro. So what makes this unit unique? There are a number of unique features with this model, namely the expandability and the ability to connect to an additional EcoFlow Delta Pro and their smart battery to give a combined capacity of 25 kilowatt hours and an output of 7200 watts, providing power for 240 volt devices. That's an incredibly significant number when thinking about standby power and an industry first for portable solar generators. That means you can power electric heaters, dryers, and other heavy duty devices. 
I've reviewed many solar generators over the years, and there are constantly new updates being rolled out by various manufacturers, but this is by far the most powerful option I've seen to date, but it does come at a price. Now, obviously this unit is for individuals looking for large amounts of standby power. EcoFlow does offer smaller units, which may be more suitable for those looking for camping options or for powering a small amount of devices if the grid goes down. With the events recently seen in Texas with the power grid problems and the challenges our nation's power grid faces, having power independence is becoming increasingly important. When combined with their EcoFlow smart panel, you have an uninterrupted power source, or UPS, for select circuits in your home. Additionally, you can connect this to their EcoFlow smart gas generators, so you can power these once they run out of power. One other unique feature is the ability to charge this from an AC Level 2 EV car charging station. There are thousands worldwide, giving you plenty of options to choose from, allowing you to charge the device in about 1.8 hours, putting it through the paces. So now that we've run through the specs, does this unit perform as advertised? The first thing I'll show you is running the EcoFlow powering 3600 watts continuously. Gas and solar generators come with two sets of numbers, the surge and running. Some devices such as refrigerators, saws, and other devices with motors, they pull extra power, aka surge, when starting up and then settle into a continuous watt usage. The manufacturer will list this information on the device, something we'll discuss more in a moment. In this test, I hooked up several devices that collectively pulled roughly 3600 watts. While powering these devices, the output on the front of the EcoFlow Delta Pro shows a discharge rate. I plugged in several different devices and their combined pull in the Delta Pro averaged 3600 watts. As advertised on their website, that Delta Flow ran at 3600 watts continuously until the battery was depleted. One unique feature of this device is that if you need more power, you can actually enable the X Boost, which allows you to expand your output up to 4500 watts. Next, after depleting the batteries, I ran various tests charging the batteries with solars. It can accept up to 1600 watts from solar, and for this test, I had one of their 400 watts foldable panels allowing you to connect it with third party solar panel via an MC4 connector. Use cases for this unit for emergencies. How much power do I need if the grid were to go down? This is one of the most common questions I get when discussing gas or solar generators. The short answer is it comes down to your specific needs. An easy way to make that decision is to first define what you would want to power if the power were to go out. Put the items in a spreadsheet, and in one column put the running watts, and in another column write down the surge watts. How do you find these values? I'll include a link in the description section with a worksheet that provides this information by the most commonly used devices. So for example, if you want to run a refrigerator, a CPAP machine, and a low profile air conditioner, you can grab these values from the worksheet and add them to your spreadsheet. If you don't see the values for your specific device on the spreadsheet, you can consult the manufacturer's website, or often the information is on the device itself. By defining this information in advance and adding it all up, it will help you understand what your power needs will be and whether this device will be a good fit for you. Remember, each EcoFlow Delta Pro holds 3.6 kilowatts of power, meaning you could provide 3,600 watts of electricity for one hour. You can power devices from the Delta Pro while charging it as well. As shown here, I've got the EcoFlow Delta Pro connected to the 3.0 kilowatt hour smart battery, meaning I've got 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours of standby power. In an emergency situation, I could charge this during the day with solar panels and charge it up and operate it whenever I need during the daytime. I would try to top this off before the end of the day to power critical devices overnight. Advantages of solar generators over gas generators. Anytime I discuss these devices, the question always comes up, why not just buy a gas generator? There are a few main considerations. OPSEC. OPSEC stands for operational security. If the power grid were to go down for a considerable amount of time, there's a good chance that by running a gas generator, you'll gain unwanted attention. Between the noise and the fumes, others will know that you have power and that you're prepared. Desperation causes people to do things they wouldn't do otherwise. Unlimited supply of power. When running carbon-based generators such as gas or propane, you're limited to how much fuel you can store. Once that fuel supply runs out, the power goes out. And with the solar generator on the other hand, as long as you've got sun, you can charge these devices. In addition, you can still power your device as well as charging from the solar panels. It's also worth noting that obviously you can charge these with a gas generator, but as pointed out in the previous point, you can potentially draw in one at attention. So learning basic power rationing by determining what is critical to operating will be something to factor in. No maintenance. While solar generators technically do not require maintenance, 
I do charge them and discharge them on a monthly basis. Letting a lithium battery discharge to a low percentage and then sit in storage will damage the battery. That's about the extent of the maintenance. Gas generators, on the other hand, are machines with moving parts and require oil changes, spark plug replacements, and monitoring the gas to make sure it doesn't get old. Between the two options, you've got less work to consider with a solar generator. So here are my final thoughts on the EcoFlow Delta Pro. This is definitely not an entry-level product and the price reflects that. This is on the high end of pricing and capabilities of portable solar generation, and as mentioned earlier, a solid option for those for looking for mobility along with the ability to power their home if the grid were to go down. There are more advanced options on the market for whole home battery backup systems, but their entry levels are typically higher and they're non-mobile, fixed units that require a professional to install them. This fills a void, a, a kind of a niche for those that want mobility, modularity, and the ability to power a home on select circuits. Overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with what this offers and I look forward to using it for various scenarios both at my house and when I'm out camping. Please let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Please feel free to post those in the comments section below. As always, stay safe out there.